Okay, so I was having a look on the Berry Boot website the other day, uh, and I saw this tab at the top, download the official RetroPi image for Raspberry Pi testing. So I thought I'd click on it, and uh, it comes up with a list of all sorts of programs uh, that are being tested for, for Berry Boot. And I saw on there Elementary OS, which was something that I wanted to try. So I've downloaded it. I've unzipped it, uh, as in my previous video or, or two videos ago, uh, I'll show you how to do it. And uh, here it is. So let's have a look on the Pi. I boot it up. You can see I've got elementary OS here. Let's hit that as set default and hit exit. So I'm going to hit boot to speed it up. Okay, that was quick. So English, select. Keyboard layout, English UK. Oh, loads of it. I'll just do select. Finish that up. Oh, I don't seem to have to do anything at all. So let's log in. Wow, it looks pretty smart. So welcome to Elementary OS Continue Basics Guide. Oh, I guess we'll read some of it. Location services, I'm okay with that. Nightlight. That's nice. Housekeeping. I'll leave all of that. Get some apps. Browse the app center. Whoa. I remember seeing this and having a look to see if there was a Pi 4 image and I couldn't find one at the time. This is nice though, isn't it? Let's always go for games. So Steam is on there. But that'll be I guess that's the, oh no, that probably would be the full Steam, but it's not, I've tried this before on Pi because it's an ARM processor, so that's not gonna work. So let's go with internet, Firefox and Thunderbird. System. Browse and manage apps. So App Center, is that different to what I'm using already? Get some apps. Oh yeah, that's what I'm already using. So let's hit next. Uh, ready to go, get started. So what have we got down here? So we know that's App Center, that's what we just launched. System settings, photos, videos, music, calendar, mail, epiphany, and multitasking. What's epiphany then? Looks like it's gonna be a web browser. Welcome to web. <laughs> Start browsing remote, right, so let's full screen that. This is a beautiful looking OS. Right, so let's go Hot UK deals. I've got some sort of, oh, I've got 10 updates, look. I've got a little notification. So what does it scroll like? Oh, I've got two things. Oh, is it still loading the page? Scrolling slow. Ooh. I mean, this has only just started up for the first time, so obviously this might not be uh, a true indication of what the OS runs like. Uh, so let's go for BBC. BBC Home. Oh, BBC Home. So if I go in, what have we got here? I guess this is some sort of, no, that's View Open Tabs. Not a lot of settings here. Oh, there's the settings, Cogler. So, preferences. Yeah. So this is this is. Epiphany is a different web browser. I'm not. I'm not aware of this as a web browser. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to try YouTube. I, I get this isn't overclocked. Actually, this would be overclocked, uh, because I'm running from Barry Boot, and I've set it to two gigahertz, and 750 on the GPU. And I'm using a uh, fan shim to cool it. 
Obviously I can try and install Chromium and various things to have a look at this. This is just the very first look. It looks like the YouTube tab is struggling. Oh, there we go. Let's try and find something with a bit of movement. Uh, so, what have we got that's going to be no issue to play? I would say that would probably be all right. We got sound. Right, are they making it do this? Is this part of the video or? <laughs> I'm guessing. I'm guessing there's something wrong there. Yeah. So it might need a bit of work. Oh crikey, that's right. I'm going to cover that up because that's pretty bad. And uh, let's. Right, so let's go back to the OS. So up the top, we've got applications. And there's a universal search. So if I start typing in Chromium, let's see what it does. Oh, there you go, search for Chromium, uh, Chromium in App Center. Let's try that. Yeah, there you go, look. So I can click on free. Install anyway. I didn't read all of that. Hopefully someone did. Authentic authentication required. This is definitely a nice looking OS. And obviously the sound was working. What's this? That's something to do with network. That's Bluetooth. Power notifications. Of course, I had that notification earlier on about the app center, but maybe because I've opened the app. Oh, look, on here, you've got the little, uh, it says 10, and that's referring to the amount of apps that needed updating. So that Epiphany web browser might have needed updating as well. So if I click on that, different views, graphics, internet, office, programming, sound and video, system tools and I didn't do the settings one did I either so chromium's there can I drag that down oh it's a nice dock that works really nicely uh, so let's close that down and click on settings and have a look at that yeah it's a really nice looking OS isn't it uh, desktop oh here we are we can change the background I like the background, but uh, oh, the darker one looks nice. Well, that is the same. <laughs> I was thinking it was darker than mine. Right, let's go with that one. Yeah, that's nice. Appearance. Window animation. So I would probably turn that off on a Pi. Translucency, I would turn that off. Oh, you can see that's at the top. Well, we'll leave that one on for... Yeah, we'll leave that on. Uh, dock. Icon small, normal large, normal, hide, pressure reveal, hot corners, oh I see, hot corners, so what? bottom right could be show all windows, so let's try that and let's open a few things up, so let's go for Chromium, let's go with calendar and photos, and settings. So bottom right, here show windows, look at that, look. That is nice. So as soon as you go down to the bottom right, you don't have to click on anything. It shows you everything that's open. And then you can click. Oh, this is impressive. I'm going to need to do more, more investigating on this. But so far, it looks really nice. I guess we have to try Chromium. I don't know how resource hungry this is, how optimized it is or anything really. So let's just go straight into YouTube. In fact, let's put the the plugin on. So uh, where is it? Settings. Or maybe this is a different way of doing it. I'm sure I could just do it. There you go, H264 if I See, there's another one here, an enhanced one, which has a load more things on it. 
which has got some good reviews, but I don't know. Well, this is the one I've been advised uh, on a few occasions. So let's add that extension. Yeah, that's there. I won't sync it. I'm going to close down Chromium and then open it up again, because I'm imagining you probably have to do that. Uh, so if I click on that block 60 FPS video, that will do. And YouTube. And let's click on something that will be all right to play. Let's just give us something like that. Looking pretty jerky. Again, this hasn't been, I haven't even restarted this, applied any updates or anything like that. Let's go straight for 1080. Let's go for full screen. And I've got some. Not a lot of things moving on the screen to be able to tell, but it looks all right at the moment. Ah, here we go. The best player to ever play for Liverpool or Manchester United. Uh, I think it's very close between two It's players. better than some. It's not. It's still not great, but it's better than some. And again, I haven't restarted or done anything on this. So let's close that down. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do several restarts. Well, let's just have a look at that app center and see what it wants to to update. Where do updates come up on here then? App Center, Home, Installed. Ah, here we go. Look at this. Definitely a very polished OS. So I'm going to, I'll probably come back to this, uh, but what I'm going to do is apply all those updates and uh, and then come back to it another time just to let it do several restarts, have a look at it. Uh, but uh, so far, so good. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.